Stay black in America, don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country world for a black man and black woman. I always start my video off saying that. I always start my video off saying that. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and repent of your sin. That way you're going to have my grace, not by works, because God sent his son to die for the sins of the entire world. Free gift, heaven. Today is going to be, do you think car salesmen or car salespeople tend to lie? Well, I bought several cars in my life. Vans, cars, at least five vehicles in my lifetime. Five vehicles. I don't think I was ever given a really good deal on any of those vehicles. So I would, I would suggest anybody buying a, a, a new vehicle, a car, uh, to go through a credit union. A lot of times credit unions have a, a book where they tell you what these new cars are worth, what they should sell for, which means they have you what the vehicle is worth and what the the average price the salesman should make off selling that car so that you can't make a balloon amount of money on you for selling that car to you because you know you could waste a lot of money doing that so I think that's a good thing that they usually cut you a check for a certain amount of money say here it is take the dealership the dealership don't want it you can go someplace else somebody's going to take it because car sales want to sell cars the only way they can make money is sell cars so a car price company say well maybe I'm only making $300 off this car we better make that sale than to go a couple days without making it. Maybe the next person I sell that same car to, maybe I make a grand off them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, do I think uh, do I think uh, car salesmen or sell? I only deal with car men. I never been sold a car by a woman before, and I think uh, I think they lie. I really do. Just my opinion. I think they lie. Um, you know the, the example they give you of a of, of a car salesman. I don't know who put the example. In, 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 in it, when I was looking up examples for, for car salesmen, say the car salesman tends to uh, be an, in, an individual who's uh, who, who who does good working by itself. They tend to be uh, very good people at uh, influencing and persuading others. Uh, they seem to be uh, artistic and have self-expression and all this kind of stuff. You know, <laughs> stuff to sell your car. The thing you I, I keyed on was influencing and persuading others, right? Man, I'll give you two stories. I'll give you two stories of two people that I know personally. One I bought a car from and one was trying to sell me a car really bad and, bad and was trying to act like uh, they wasn't. So I had one sold me a vehicle and called me before. I said, I got a, I got a beautiful used vehicle in here. Uh, someone came in and bought a brand new car and they, and they traded in their, their, their used car, uh, 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 a beautiful expensive model car. And they said it was, you know, it's, it's, it's a little older model, but it's not, not you know, it's, it's a great car, right? So, I go and look at the car. The car looks pretty good. And the first thing I keep asking the salesman, I said, if I buy this car for that price, will I be able to sell it for a higher price? Because you said you got a real good deal on it. And, uh, yeah, I'll be able to sell it and make, you know, buy it from you. And I'll be able to sell it and make $7,000 off of it, right? Off the of sale. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. This car is a great model car right here. You know, the guy that came in, he, you know, big guy, big shot, had a lot of money, so he's traded in. He wasn't really worried about too much what he got on the trading offer. Man, you can buy this car and make a lot off of it. And, I, you know, I trust this individual, you know. At the time, I was looking to flip and make some money, so I said, well, if I can make, you know, a quick 7000 I can do him a favor, buy the car, get off his hand. He did me a favor because I guess he thinks, that, you know, I'm a pretty decent guy and he wants to hook me up with a nice car. And I would go ahead and buy that buy the nice car and then I would sell it and make a, a seven thousand dollar profit off of it. Well, what happened with that? With, with that is that I bought that vehicle, and when I tried to sell that vehicle back, the place uh, was one of those car mats, one of those kind of places. They offered me four thousand less than what I bought it for. Not only was I not going to get a profit, I was losing four thousand dollars. So I decided first, like, let me go ahead and keep it. It's a nice looking car. Let me go ahead and keep it, right? And and I received so much hate. Uh, when I parked it outside my store, had some people throwing, throwing rocks at it. I had to put a covering over it. Some people, oh, you must be rich now. I'm car you got. I said, well, it's not a brand new car, man. It's used. It's like, what is it? It's, it's 12 years old. Why, why, why are you? Oh, man, a lot of hate on it. So that, that car bought me way more problems than ever bought me anything good. When I thought talking to this guy one-on-one, -on -one, man, that, you know, <laughs> I bet he's selling a profit. I'm like, you know, so straight, straight up, right in front. Of you, I just got lied to, you know, by someone that I, you know, kind of trust. I figured it would lie to me. You know, they they making money a big time car, car salesman. <laughs> but I guess it don't matter how much how much a big time car salesman. You know, if you can find a way to influence or persuade others, I guess you're gonna do that and keep making that money. 
And then the second person uh, um, that, I, that I knew, kind of new person, who's a car salesman, uh, they, um, I told them I was, was nowhere in the market for a car, especially not an expensive car, like BMW or anything like that. You know, we're in the my, my market for a car. I want to keep my old car running as long as, long as possible. And if it, it have a problem with it, you go ahead and get it adjusted and fixed, right? And I asked that individual, I said, do you know anybody, mobile unit can come out and check my vehicle out? Oh, yeah, my, my main man does that. I'll, I'll get his number and have him call you. Well, he never had his main man call me or come by because his whole objective was to try to sell me a brand new vehicle. He went as far as bringing his personal expensive $70,000 car over here and want to take me around. Let me, let, me, let me ride you around in it. You know, it's an electric car, woo, 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 zooming all through places, you know. Beautiful car, you know, beautiful car, but I've never been a car guy or a truck guy, not a guy. I've always been a practical kind of guy. I'll get something to take me from A to B. I don't care how beautiful it looks. A to B, and I'm good with it. You know, I'm happy with it. I don't want no expensive car that costs what somebody paying to live in an apartment. I, what I want that for? <laughs> but uh, this person tried to drive me around it, and they took my wife around in the car and told them all the people they drove around and what they did and the deals they got for them and all this kind of stuff like that. And uh, but kind of but friendly and talking and you know, but the whole the whole essence of the visit, the whole essence come down was to sell that car. You know, so it wasn't matter. I want to see you, meet and greet you. Hey, what's happening? How you been doing for a while? The whole objective to come and get in my presence was that I'm in the store, assuming I'm making a rack of money. I figure, hey, I can sell this guy a car. It's a good car sell. Say, thank you. They're using that self-expression. They thank you. <laughs> How can I sell some more cars? I can get a car of this guy. And I'm probably going to make an even bigger commission because maybe he's not washing his pennies of dollars. <laughs> I'm the one who's watching it, nickels and pennies and dimes. I'm the one who's only going to get a car if it's crucial and I need it. I'm not going to buy a car ride around and do I look good in my car? <laughs> not me. So uh, so to answer the question, do I think car salesmen lie? Yeah, I, th I think they lie. I think they lie. And I think the reason why they probably get away with a lie because someone coming in to buy a car, I think 85% of the time somebody buying a car really needs a car. Either their car broke down, their car aged out, the car's having problems, so they really need a car. They're not just in there because uh, for the fun of it. They're in there because they actually need a car. So um, to me, I say, I say again, when I start off this thing, if you're going to get one, get one through a credit union, get one through some kind of a bank that you have association with, and they're going to tell you what that vehicle you want is going to cost and what you should pay for it, not pay more for it, and what it's actually worth on open market so you don't buy any vehicle and drive off that lot and, and it's worth it's depreciated so far. You say, well, I could lose so much money in one day, <laughs> right? So stay black in America, subscribe to my, my channel. Remember that real estate is your most most expensive thing you're gonna pay for in life and vehicles are your second. So be sure that that second most expensive thing, you're wise in buying that. Buy what you need, don't buy over what you need. And for all, for, for all sake, don't pay more than what it's worth. Stay black in America, subscribe to my channel until next time, bye.